talking about your latest beating. I'm talking about our agreement, Jenna. You were supposed to leave town. As soon as I get out of here, I'm gone. No one's ever going to find out you paid me all that money to drop the charges and leave town. It's our secret. I don't care how you do it. You find a way to vanish. You'll never hear from me again. I'm really sorry someone called the cops. I'll handle them. But I don't want anyone connecting me to you ever again. Don't worry, Dr. Collins. You have my word. I won't cause you any more trouble. Hey. You okay? You know what? Why don't we go home? This nightmare's over with. Don't play games with me. I know you too well. People can change, right? I don't know if you can. See, I think you're trying to set up Stephen, who we both know is Caleb. By dating Ricky. Boy, you've got some imagination there. You're using the poor guy against Stephen. And what exactly would I be setting Steven up for? What, my, my big break as a backup singer? You tried to kill Caleb once, I think you're out to finish the job. And I think too much slaying and not enough playing's made you a really but dull first, guy. First, first you have to make sure it is Caleb. So you're gonna lure him out by making him jealous. That's where Ricky comes in. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. My interest in Stephen Clay is zip zero. All right, you know what? Stop. You don't have to defend yourself. Because the thing is, I think your idea is a good one. I just want in on it. Hey. You slept a long time. Oh, I just had the most awful dream. Oh. Tell me it was a dream, right? That what you said about me being a vampire wasn't true. I'm still the same person that I was, right? It was just a nightmare, wasn't it? Elizabeth, just calm down. Oh, God, no, tell me that that was a terrible mistake. You're just in a little bit of shock right now, all right, sweetheart? All right, in time, you'll come to accept, accept. this. Accept? What? That no, I'm a... a, a blood-sucking monster? Please, Elizabeth, now you're just being insulting. I'm changed now, Stephen. Forever. I can never go back to being who I was. Correct me if I'm wrong, but your life wasn't so great before. At least I was human. I never held it against you. I've got to get away from you. I've got to find somebody who will help me. Hey, well, now, now you're talking crazy, all right? Relax. Why did you, you do this? Why did you do this to me? You want to know why? Because I wanted you. I wanted you, and the alternative was for you to die. quiet on the way home. Is everything all right? It was just a, a terrible night, and I'd really like to forget the whole thing happened. Yeah, you and me both. You know, it's Ian's fault that this happened. No, that that is not true. Really? Well, he sure jumped to conclusions about me, and he couldn't wait to send the police to our door. Guess he'll never accept that I've actually gotten better and that I'm back with my wife. Not that Ian has ever respected anyone's marriages, though. That's enough. Oh, come on. We both know why he did this. He'd pull any trick in the book to get me out of the way because he wants you for himself. Kevin, please don't. You know, if I'm not there, it's an open road to you. That's what he's thinking. Then he'll have his big chance. You know, I can't believe that just a couple of days ago I was thanking him for being such a good friend to you. Man's a hypocrite. Stop it. I want you to stop it right now because Ian is not to blame. 
Lucy, he's the reason we went through this today. No, he isn't. You are. You're the hypocrite. I know what you did. I, I heard what you said to that woman in the hospital. You would have killed me if I hadn't become like you. Of course not. What I meant was, if I hadn't given you the gift of immortality, you would eventually die like all humans do. I, I couldn't bear that. You think that you did this for my own good? You think it's easy living forever? While you watch the ones you love grow old and pass away, watching their beauty fade. I couldn't watch that happen to you. I couldn't, my, my beautiful Elizabeth. So in exchange, you turned me into a creature that lives off of blood. It doesn't have to be that way. I've discovered the secret, the best of both worlds. What secret? We can have immortality and all the power and the passion that comes with it without ever having to feed or ever being detected. Everything we need to survive is right here in this precious liquid. Listen, just take a drink and everything will feel better. No! You might as well have just let me die. This is the end to everything that I have ever known. And right when I found my daughter, I wanted to be there for her wedding, Stephen. Nothing has to be different. I am different. It, it doesn't have to be. You've been watching too many old movies. Forget all the drama about crucifixes and sunlight. You can live exactly the way you want to live, only better and longer, and you can share it with me. But everything that Rafe told me about you is true. You're not Stephen. You are that, that Caleb. What's in a name? You hurt people. You almost destroyed this town. Why would I even want to be with somebody who would do something like that? You want to work with me and team up, be all buddy, buddy, dream on. Come on. I can help you get to Caleb, force him to reveal himself, and send him right back to his grave. <sighs> No, this is, this is priceless. I mean, you've been treating me like dirt for several months now, barely admitting I exist, and now suddenly you want to help me. You know what? You need my help. Otherwise, that guy wouldn't still be breathing. I wouldn't help you or anyone else in this rotten town. I already did that. And where did that get me, Rafe? Not exactly Miss Popularity. Okay, we don't have to make this personal, Libby. There's a killer out there who needs to be stopped. Maybe if I really thought this rock and roller was... Caleb, I'd be interested in your little plan here, but you are way off on come this on, one. Come on, come on, You've been suspicious of Stephen from the beginning. Yeah, maybe at first. But I actually believe that we all have a twin out there. And I'm not gonna go kill some guy because he looks like some dead vampire or, or so you could play the hero of the town. Come here. You need my help. You're gonna get killed if you do this on your own. <sighs> yeah, that would really break your heart, wouldn't it, Riff? If, if you're not going to let me help you, then do me a favor. Just stay away from him. What possible difference could it make what I do? Unless, of course, you're still a little hung up on me. <laughs> Just take my advice, OK? You're in way over your head. Why don't you drop this ridiculous crusade of yours before you make a bigger fool of yourself? Leave Stephen alone. Really? And why would I do that? Bright eyes. Unless... Unless what? Unless you're still hung up on Caleb. You don't want him dead, you want him back. You never got over him. You never got the guy out of your blood. That woman dropped the assault charges. Because I was trying to protect you. No. I, I, I can't believe it. You, you made me think that... That whole thing was a sign from the universe that everything was going to be OK, that we were on the right track, we were getting everything back together, when all the time you, you had paid her off. You paid her to lie, and you paid her to get out of town. I was just trying to make everything right for us again. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. I'm sorry. 
What are you sorry for? Are you sorry because you lied? Are you sorry because you got caught? Both, actually. Do you, do you hear what you're saying? I don't believe it. I can't believe you. You stood there and you said, this is it, Lucy. I'm going to face the music this time. I'm going to pay the consequences. I didn't like the consequences, OK? And what did I do that was so wrong? <gasps> if you don't know that I, I paid a prostitute money to start a new life. Some people might even call that charitable, Lucy. <sighs> and as I recall, you've solved more than one problem with a little cash. Yeah. Maybe I have, so maybe the cash isn't really the problem here. It's the fact that you just lied, and it doesn't seem to bother you at all. Well, Lucy, you never lied to me. <sighs> Come on, Lucy. You've never told a little fib when you've done something wrong, even for all the right reasons. So the worst I can be accused of is putting our marriage first, because I refuse to lie down and let our life fall apart around us. Okay, fine. You just go ahead and rationalize it any way you want. You still did something very wrong. Well, maybe I finally did something right. Maybe I finally wised up. What are you talking about? You lied and you bribed somebody. So what? You want something bad enough, Lucy, you fight for it. Isn't that what you always say? I just took a page from your book because I refuse to let anyone separate us again. If Stephen is Caleb, why would I want him back? Huh? Do you think I am suicidal? I was the one who killed him before. I've given up trying to figure out what turned you on, but I do know you want Caleb back. I can see it in your eyes. God, Rafe, don't, don't you have some silverware patterns to pick out or something? Why don't you and your precious little girlfriend right, leave me stop. Alone? I know you've been hurt, but you cannot let this monster destroy your life. You're too late for that. You and Allison already did that. <sighs> And don't, don't pretend that you give a damn about me, because you never did. I tried to love you. I tried to make you happy. And I also, I loved Jack with all of my heart, and both of you turned on me. So what more damage could a vampire do? Are you kidding me? You played us both, me and Jack. Yeah. And maybe it was just as well it ended up the way it did. Because neither one of you weren't man enough to take what I was offering. Neither one of you were enough for me. Oh, what is enough for you? I want someone who knows how to live, who makes me feel alive, not someone who gets caught up in duty and honor and all the other boring crap that you you hold on to like it's going out of style. No, I think I think you want someone with a soul, someone who lives in the darkness, someone who exists in the shadows. Yeah, sounds like my kind of guy. God help you. I'll help myself, thank you. And I will get what I want. And there's not a blessed thing you can do to stop me. Don't try to deny it. You terrorize this town and everyone in it. Caleb did those horrible things. But I'm not him anymore. I'm Steven. What's changed except your name? When I was Caleb, I lived in a world of loneliness and pain, and it was slowly poisoning me. I knew I couldn't go on like that. But vampires just can't up and join the human race. And with this, they can. So, so this, this, this water, or whatever it is, this allows you to live in the real world? All the benefits of being special, without any of the side effects. Look at me. I used to be an outcast living in shadows. And now I'm... Hell, I'm Stephen Clay. I'm, I'm born again with a chance to live a full life with the woman I love with you. Me. You love me. That's why I bound myself to you forever. Because I want you so much. Just because you wanted to get closer to Allison and Ray so that you could hurt them. Elizabeth, your words hurt me more than any slayer. Your cruel accusations. No, 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 listen. I have to know the truth. If you want me to accept this. When we first met, you told me no man ever loved you. No man ever made you feel so beautiful and alive. With this hidden jewel. Can't you see 
how much I love you. Don't you see it every time I touch you? It's really me that you want. You don't want anyone else. Tell me what you always have. You're sweet, Olivia. You're the only woman I want. Let me tell you about your eyes. Tell you about your hair. Let me tell you about your beautiful lips. I to you, and I'm sorry that I hurt you, but I won't apologize for fighting for our life. We could have fought this together. You know we could afford the best team of lawyers, all the lawyers in the world, if and we wanted. What if things didn't go our way? What then? I would have been looking at five years in jail, five years away from my family. But we would have faced that together as a family. That's not good enough anymore. I want to be there to teach Christina how to ride a bike, not read about it from behind bars. And I want to be there for our first anniversary together. I want to be able to raise a toast to my bride. So I found a way to make it happen. You bought your freedom. Well, $25,000 is a small price to pay for the privilege of continuing our future. <gasps> Can you blame me for wanting my future back? I don't blame you for wanting that, no. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking my doc never would have done such a thing. Well, I am still that same man, Lucy. Only better. Because now I have the strength to do what it takes to keep us together. Lucy, isn't there some way we can get past this? What would you have done if you could not have bought off that woman? Up the price. What if no amount of... The money was enough. What then? Everyone has their price, Lucy. Hey, hey, you know what? Go ahead. Go ahead. You keep playing with fire, you're just gonna destroy yourself. It's my life. Great. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna use the bathroom and powder my nose. Is that okay? Go ahead. Yeah, hey, Rafe. Special delivery, one water bottle. Man. Good job. So this is Steven's special design of water, huh? That's right. Doesn't go anywhere without it. He drinks it by the gallons. I, uh, snagged it from the rehearsal hall. Yeah, about that. Remember what we said? We just keep this between us, right? Mm-hmm. That works for me. And the guy's got a pretty fierce temper. Ricky, don't get on the wrong side. Oh, I wasn't planning on it. Hey. Hey. Wow, look at you. Why hey. don't we get out of here? I got a really good dinner to make you. And then you can leave the rest up to you. This water's gotta be the key. Our life together is just beginning. You'll see. The world is at our fingertips. And this... This is our ticket to freedom. So what happens if someone who... isn't one of us drinks that? No. Don't worry about that, my love. You have no troubles. You have nothing to worry about. Forever. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Naked eyes. Charles, I want to make love to you. So, what do you think? It's a serum. 
Vampire serum. I know about your special water. Don't push it. Then get over here now. Keep up with all your favorite soaps. Log on to SoapNet.com to chat with the stars, check out our message boards, and to find your SoapNet schedule. SoapNet. Soap watching made easy.